Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And in this video, we're going to be opening up the April Karen box. Let's get started. So, last month's box was opened a little late, but that was mostly because I got it a little bit late and because of scheduling, I didn't get to film it or release it until a little bit later. Um, but, I actually got about mid month. Um, and a little follow up on last month's box. I still haven't gotten a chance to try out the Purinize, but um, I did actually post a video on the uh, Mazama Designs uh, hydration pack. So I called it the X2 hydration or reservoir, but it's made by Mazama Designs, which I noted in the description. It's always good in these videos to read the description, even though most times I have the same, uh, because sometimes if I realize I made a mistake in the description, I usually note it uh, in the description. But anyways, let's see what we got. So, first thing that screamed out to me. Arcade, okay, what are you? Arcade Adventure Active Stretch. Venture series made uh, one size fits all fits up to a 44. It's a Belt which I need new outdoor belt uh, It fits up to it says 44 inch which I think is about my waistline <laughs> So we'll see um, So does it give any, uh, made to go anywhere, do anything, always be comfortable from hiking, hybrid, uh, hiking to hybrid board shorts, skating to snow pants, it's built for everyday adventure. So let's take a look at it, um, I may see if I can try it on while I'm here, we'll see if, it's, if it actually gets caught on camera, if not I can always just move the camera to another room, but we'll try to do everything in here. So it's clip, which I'm always a huge fan of clips, but we'll see how those up, how that holds up. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's stretchy. Okay, so. Um, it kind of keeps it at tension. Oops. So let's set this to a bit. And I also like the design, so let me. So that's the design on it. Don't worry, I'm not stripping for you guys. That's. would not go on YouTube. So let's see how this goes. So it's not super easy to adjust. I'm adjusting this already because it says it's up to a 44 inch and I am, now you guys are knowing my waistline. about a 44 <laughs> inch so this is a bit I'm in the process of losing weight so let's find out because I've been looking for new outdoor pants anyways so the benefit of so I wasn't too a fan of this not being able to be that uh, this was loose but the fact that that was so hard to adjust is actually a good sign. Let's see. Keeps on tight. Oh, it's 
gonna take a little bit more testing. Sitting is not bad. Um, it's gonna take a bit more testing uh, than uh, more of them than, but otherwise, it's not that bad. So the R so that's an arcade se adventure series belt, and I like the design on it. Uh, definitely be good for the out for outdoor ones. Um, let's see. Fat Cat three-way eyewear retainers. Actually wearing the wrong glasses. Hold on one second. It's actually just wearing my uh, computer glasses. So the so that was my arcade. This is Fat Cat um, three-way. I wear retainers. I've occasionally been looking into buying these. So it looks like it goes like that. And if you're like me and you are a person who wears glasses or looks like for sunglasses, what I could do is do do do. I now can't see if I'm on camera. While I'm not extremely blind, you guys are currently blurry for me. Okay, not super, super retentive, uh, retentive but enough that if it gets knocked off, there were loose glasses. Let's see. How are they? <laughs> no. But nevertheless, not bad uh, for. Oh, I can put these on differently. Oh, okay. So, will you put it through it? If I read the instructions, you take your glasses and you put it through like that. But I have small glasses. These are designed for sunglasses. Um, and I wear small, low profile ones. So these would actually be better with thicker frame glasses than the ones I currently wear. But I actually do have a thicker pair of sunglasses, prescription sunglasses that these would be perfect with that I don't wear that often. Um, I do like to wear them out. I, li I do like to wear them on occasion, because um, I do like wearing uh, my aviators, but I don't wear them that often. But anyways, let's move on to the next item. Uh, so we have the picture with the quote, uh, the information on the back of the different products. So the, by the way, the Fat Cat thing was made by EK. A EK, which is a USA company, made in the USA. I also have a card with uh, deals on it. Camp Centronel soap that's biodegradable, plant based, eco soap. Long trips, I definitely could use this. Um, Centronel as well. Uh, if it's citronel, if I'm not mistaken, that should also help keep... Helps deter bugs, and if, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, not if, I can't remember if this helps deter... I can't remember if this helps... I know this helps to deter... Um, I mean, it doesn't 100% keep them away, but I can't remember if it helps... I know, if it, I know it helps to keep away mosquitoes, but I know I can't remember if it 100% helps keep away, um, what is it, uh, ticks. And if it helps keep away ticks, that's a definite boost, um, for when, especially this year, where, where for us, in the northeast where we had an extremely mild winter we're expecting a really bad tick year um 
me see. We got another sticker. I should eventually get a... I've been thinking about putting a whiteboard here, but I've also been thinking about putting a sticker board here. I haven't decided, but I wouldn't cover it in Karen stickers, but I thought about put it, like putting a sticker, a Karen sticker on there. Um, I'll figure that out. Well, last but not least, we have Think Jerky. Let's see. Beef raised with no additive hormones or antibiotics. Think Jerky. Grass fed beef jerky. Ginger and orange. Hmm. I like jerky. If you have been following my channel for a long time, you know there is one thing that I like, and that is jerky. I love jerky products. One of the ones I've been getting a lot for hikes lately is actually Paleo. Uh, Sees Paleo goods. Because um, it's great for hikes. Uh, this one is beef raised, no hormones or antibiotics, if that's something you care about. Uh, it's grass fed, pasture raised, no antibiotics, paleo friendly. Again, something if you're friendly with. No nitrates. Not something I care about, uh, but again, something if you care about. Uh, nitrates are great for preservatives. Uh, I I recently used it to make my own uh, corned beef. Uh, let me see. Uh, and yes, cured home corned beef, or home cured corned beef. Uh, <laughs> So let's see, let's give you the information. This actually has very little, uh, what do they use for the preservatives then? Cause I know Steve's Paleo, Steve's Paleo Goods use beet. Uh, just probably salt and but So let's bring it up. And again, always with this. Pause it on any portion that you want. Just see, with the food. Okay, this is by Think Jerky. Um, So let's give this a try. So this is in a lot smaller pieces and it's not unlike the, a lot of the jerkies that I get, like say Steve's Paleo Goods, which has become kind of my hiking standard jerky, which comes kind of in a sauce. Um, mm, that smells good. It smell, the smell is kind of indicative of uh, similar to Jack Link's. I'm not sure if, I mean, texture-wise on the jerky. It's a really good texture. I'm going to play a good piece to show you. So texture-wise, I really like this. It's kind of similar texture-wise to, uh, if you ever had Crave jerky which is another one I like to take hiking with me. 
Um, Texture-wise, so it's very dried out, and that's kind of how they preserve it, is they get it extremely dry, very salted. Um, you can kind of taste the orange in it. It's mostly the ginger in it that you can taste. Which is kind of good. I'm not sure if this one, this flavor would be my favorite one, but... I'm very interested in trying some of their other jerkies. Um, but most because sometimes I'm very picky with my ginger flavors. But anyways, so texture wise. Especially because this is a small package. I, I kind of like the texture of this. I'm going to have to... Texture-wise, it's good. Taste-wise, it's okay. I'm really glad they kind of gave me a jerky. Um, I'm going to save the rest of that. Eat the rest of that cam off camera. So I don't have to make you guys watch me entire pa eat an entire packet of jerky. Um, and I'll also go share some of that with Cassie. Uh, some of, so far, so... We, and we also got cap soap, glasses, and the belt that I'm currently wearing. I think my favorite product so far is the belt, which I'll show you guys again. Kind of like the pattern on it, um, which I think I'm actually wearing it upside down right now, unfortunately. It's what I get for putting it on, on camera. Um, and in a rush. But I like the pattern on it. I like the belt. Um, I just need to lose a little bit of weight. Um, which, again... In the progress of doing um but anyways and i'm kind of looking forward to using the soap i don't really take too many I don't take too much in the name of showers in the woods or i don't take too much baths or showers in the in the woods unless i'm out there for a long time but this has been kind of this has been the april uh karen box uh you guys have a good day remember get on the woods have some fun See everyone.